Hey guys, just a little shout out video about a program I just learned about. Most people probably know about this, but my gosh, it's already improved my video so much. Now, some of you out there might always be wondering, how can I make my audio sound better? I've been struggling with that for years. I used to work off of the audio from the camera, then obviously from the microphone here, but there's something I've got introduced to, and I got to give my thanks to Matty Tex up on Instagram. If you guys don't follow him, definitely check him out. Type in podcast.adobe.com slash enhance. You can run your audio through there and it's going to sounds so much better. It'll take away the echo of the room. It'll make it sound a little bit more professional. If for instance, this is originally from the camera here, or this is from the microphone here, and then this is the microphone with the enhancement. As you can see, it just sounds so much better. So definitely check it out. Just wanted to do that for both my followers and for anyone out there because it's such a useful tool. Hey guys, Jeremy here. I said I was gonna talk about this, so I wanted to. Uh, apologies for the delays with everything going on with uh, the Supernatural reviews, don't worry, they're all done now. Uh, I still gotta do the season review and I gotta do the uh, best and worst of. The, the worst will be easy, the best will be hard. I just went through a little bit of a tough time. Not anything like particular, just a tough little mental time because right now at this point it's slow both in the film industry and for my business. Like I'm doing family stuff and I'm starting to gear up for the weddings, but just went through a little bit of a slow patch and I got into a headspace that just wasn't good for me. I was kind of worried about what I was going to do, what I was going to be able to do, and I, I still currently worry about it. This might be the first time that I don't really do a lot of film work. I do more of my own business, which I'm happy about. I'm excited to take that leap. I'm excited to do that. But at the same time, I am obviously cautious. I am obviously worried about how the future is going to play out. I just don't really know where things are going from here. I'm optimistic, I'm hopeful, but at the same time, I'm also worried because if you don't know, Vancouver's not the easiest place to live. It's not the cheapest by far. Most people can't even afford a house. And, you know, I've done pretty well in terms of savings and I, like, it doesn't look viable to me. Not certainly anytime soon. So just that normal life things just keep on playing through my head and whatnot and that's why I was a bit down and a little bit in the pits and kind of just in a mental fog so I'm working my way out of it I'm working back into doing reviews not only for Supernatural but also just for movies I haven't talked about movies in so long I realize that majority of the videos that I've released recently are just Supernatural episode reviews I will say I am going to take a break from Supernatural. I will return to it, but I don't, I, I can't say if I'm going to return to it until before the summer, even if maybe not until after the summer. I just want to take a break from the show, guys. I've been doing it for essentially almost four years straight. No, not, and that's not just in, that is kind of including the new reviews, but then also doing these retro reviews doing four, five, six, nearly back to back, and then doing uh, seven. Seven was just a goddamn crawl, guys. I commend those who can get through season seven without difficulty, but holy shit. I know why I was at the precipice. I remember why. And I'm waiting for that moment in season eight where I can bring myself back to it. But honestly, I feel like the reason I kept with the show was that it's a tradition with my dad. That more than anything, that was just what we did. We would watch Supernatural on Thursday nights or Wednesday nights and Friday nights and whichever. It was so hard to get through that season. I almost wonder if season 15 would be more pl more plausible. I, obviously, I'm fucking joking, but that's kind of the mindset I got into. But anyways, that's just the update. Apologies again for taking so long. I hope you guys understand and hope you guys are doing well. Otherwise, I think what I'm going to be trying to do is just, you know, keeping with the schedule, getting to the end. So we've got, what's it? Or um, what, what episode do we even get to? I, I See, this is what I mean. Like, I don't even know where I am in my own um, kind of placement with where my... Okay, so we got 20. So 20, 21, 22, 23. And then review best worst so we've got seven videos left of this season seven of seven <laughs> so once we get through that then i might do kind of just my overview of seven i mind you that's probably just going to be the season review but at least to say i won't be kind it, it will almost get back into the cynical journey again uh for my patreon supporters thank you guys so much for still supporting me despite being a completely lazy asshole on that end i apologize 
I am going to try and start doing kind of just shout outs, just asking you guys for suggestions. That really worked out. I thought that some of those suggestions were really cool. It was cool to rewatch movies I hadn't seen in a long while. Um, uh, Joe, I still got to give you the compliment for suggesting Life is Beautiful to me because if you look on the populars for my movie reviews, I think it comes up as one. Doesn't it come up or where is it? Uh, yeah. It's got 11,000 views, and that was, you suggested that in, like, uh, two years ago. It's been two years since you suggested that? Wow. Sorry. <laughs> but no, that's what I mean. Like, those suggestions, I'm still super appreciative of those, because you guys have had me check out movies either I haven't seen before, or ones that I haven't seen in a long time. I'm going to try and be a lot more active um, on both the Patreon and the YouTube side, because right now I'm not on a film. I don't know when I'm going back to a film. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back to a film. Once that starts up again, the financial responsibility will be a lot more apparent for me than anything else. So uh, forgive me when that time comes and my inactivity starts to creep in because just want to make sure I have the, ha the roof over my head. I, that's my main concern. But I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys this year is going off okay. It's cold as shit and melting snow outside in March of all months but it's bc you never know what you're gonna get that was it just wanted to say hi just give you guys an update of what was going on hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more videos from me in the future and patreon supporters make sure to check out the page when you can because i'll probably have done another shout out asking you guys for some more suggestions again so that's it all right guys see you next time